Here at the shooting range in the centre of Holland, we're going to test just how bulletproof two types of vests are, with the help of Martin Welthauser, a leading authority on weapons and ammunition. This is a firearm. This is a real firearm. I first have to check if it's safe. Oh. Safety first. Safety first. I can check. There's no cartridge inside here. <coughs> There's no cartridge inside here. Yeah. So now it's safe to handle. Here you are. Okay. Give me a shirt! Oh, oh <laughs> so, sorry, sorry. No. Always keep the gun in that direction. Oh. That's a safe direction. Don't right. point at anyone, please. Okay. Safety first. Safety first, fun last. <sighs> in this test, carried out in 1997 by the Dutch research agency TNO, a bullet is fired at some gelatine. The substance and flexibility of gelatine are comparable to those of human flesh. The result is a reconstruction of the Glasgow Apple Jelly Murders. The impact of the bullet on gelatine gives a good indication of the impact of a bullet on the human body. So if at some point people are going to end up getting shot at, then we better wear safety vests. Francois is wearing a new model, the Dyneema panels, a super lightweight material made from extremely strong fibre. His vest only weighs 1.8 kilograms and is designed to offer protection against sidearms. Looking good. Looking very good. Peter will be firing a 9mm calibre handgun. Quite a weapon. The vest should certainly be able to withstand this bullet. The vest is mainly used by police officers and security guards and is meant to be worn underneath clothing. I give you guys some protection for the ears. Nah. Here you are, it's loaded. You can see the bullet has gone in here. So how fast was the bullet actually travelling? Well over 400 meters per second. Wow, you've got good eyesight. Yes. Here's the bullet. You can see it's completely flat. Yeah. And here is the shield. With the Dyneema layers in it. It's Dyneema. And you can see that it's stopped by eight layers of Dyneema. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's not much fun to catch a bullet this way because your chest will be pretty much bruised. Now the slightly heavier artillery. Peter will fire a 7.62 by 39 caliber gun at a vest which is only meant for hand weapons. He'll be shooting an automatic Kalashnikov, the AK-47. Not a weapon to mess around with, so keep your distance. <laughs> This time the bullet went in here. Well, so, uh, did it stop it or not? We'll see. I don't think so. <laughs> you see what happened? The bullet came right through. This is typical the effect of a Kalashnikov. This time, Francois is wearing a military vest. This vest is designed to withstand machine gun fire. A number of different plates can be inserted into the vest for different types of attack. And the vest is worn over the top of clothing and weighs 2.2 kilograms. When the plate is inserted, it weighs 5 kilograms. And now Peter has another go. This time a solid plate composed of Dyneema and ceramics has been inserted into the pouch of the vest. Even heavy bullets fired at high speeds are stopped by this plate. Peter is firing a Kalashnikov. <laughs> <laughs> see, the bullet went straight through. We'll see. This is the plate. And you can see that this plate stopped the bullet completely. Ah. The bullet is still inside. This is a ceramic plate. Uh -huh. And in front there is dynamic, dynamic layers. So, he's alive! <laughs>